Hi guys, welcome to your own class. Second video of motive patterns. Uh, yesterday we already know about the transformation and position tool. Rest of the day we'll cover today. In a rotate tool, there is a, a possibility of lots of experiment in rotate tools. So uh, today we'll start with a rotate tool. For the experiment, we already taken uh, so many motifs which is made from the uh, these all tools. Uh, that the options of all tools like position, rotate, a scale, size, and a screw. So we'll start with a rotate tool first. First, we are going to take a uh, rectangle tool and make it thick lines, and go to the <coughs> rotate tool. And make the I will put the angle 15 degree. You can increase or decrease the angle according to your choice. Then center in center, x axis is zero, y axis is zero, and must be relative center is on. And then uh, we'll uh, now we'll put the center options and number of copies is one, so that you can uh, check how will it copy and make changes in this rectangle. So apply on uh, this, it will create a a uh, circle kind of motif. When we completed uh, these copies, go to the uh, selection tool and make a selection of this motif. Then again, short, one shortcut key is Control L. When we press Control L, it combines the selected object. First, all the object is separate. One one uh, square, uh, one one rectangle is there. When you press Control it, it combine the object and make a different motif kind of things. It's very interesting, guys. You can experiment so many times and make it so many different different good things. We'll change the uh, now. We'll copy paste and change the color. It looks very interesting. Uh, we go to the color options. And change the colors like this. You can change the color and make the different thing. So you can choose the right color so that it will look nice. But this is the first experiment, guys. You can um, make the experiment through rotate tool. Now we will take the second object, like uh, we will take this motif and experiment. And we select this motif here, copy and paste through right click, then go to the rotate tool 15 and angle degree, x axis 0, y axis 0. Then we will put the yaha for different things. We will take the middle right option and number of copies 1, then again apply. It will going to make a different kind of design. It is it look nice. So we'll select and change the different colors. You can put the lighter color or darker color. <coughs> and then uh, I will going to group it down. So then control G for group. Control <coughs> G for group. We are uh, copy paste and change the color. Uh, we select uh, we can uh, select the same color or change the color, so you maybe select the lighter or darker shades like this. Uh, these colors. <coughs> you change the color and make the different things, make the different designs. This is very nice, looking very nice. So you can experiment and make uh, so many different different things. So we we'll put side. And then again, uh, this is very interesting option. I will Next very interesting option is in text tool. We go to the text tool. There is an option called insert symbol character. F11 is the shortcut key. Go to the text tool, insert symbol character and click on the insert. Here is the options open for the font. We will select the font winding. There are lots of options of uh, symbols are here. Uh, and then go to choose any one of the symbols from uh, this uh, font. Select. I will select the 
uh, flower symbols and put it here. Direct to drag from here and put it on the screen. Then again go to the transformation. Now we'll use transformation and change the uh, change the shape. We don't want outline here, so we will put no line from here. No outlines are there. Now we uh, arrange it's a, in a small size. Now we'll put uh, on the rotate tool in this object and see what happens. It's very interesting to experiment with these kind of things. Uh, so we'll uh, again click on these symbols and we now we put the center is different from here. We select the center, uh, center and put the center from here to here. Okay, this is uh, now the um, our x axis is 0.45 degree and y axis is minus 969. Relative center is on. Then number of copies is one. However, uh, we take the 10 degree angle, then apply and see what happens. It's copy, but it's overlapping. So we need to change the angle. We need to change the angle from 20. Now we'll check what happens. Then apply. Now it's look nice. So we'll apply, 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 and then the whole circle like this. This make a very interesting character. Again, we'll select this. Uh, we can uh, shift and put it down and copy. This looks nice. Control it. We'll again shift, press shift, and increase the size. Again, <coughs> press shift to decrease the size and copy. Again, put shift and decrease the size. Decrease the size and put uh, copy and again decrease the size and put the copy through right click of uh, right click of the mouse and again put down and right click so that you can make a different kind of motif like this. It's very interesting. Rotate tool is very interesting and very powerful to make different kind of design. So guys, you can use these tools and make a different kind of design. Now we'll put and make a different patterns, changes of nice colors and put the nice, nice color and change the shape nice. Very particular about selecting the different type of colors. It's nice. So you can use uh, this rotate tool also, it's very interesting with different kind of symbols. We cover the next option in next video, today um, uh, we cover the all about the rotate tools. Um, hopefully you have enjoyed the video, if yes, please press like buttons, uh, stay tuned. I promise to see you in the next video. Thank you guys, thank you.